Hello East Minster families! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple recipe for communion bread. It uses ingredients commonly found around the kitchen so you won't have to go to the store. Keep social distancing. We miss you. Um, so the ingredients you're going to need are one and a third cup of warm water, two teaspoons of active dry yeast, two teaspoons of brown sugar or honey, one egg, one teaspoon of fine sea salt, and three to three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So first you're going to add the water, yeast, and the brown sugar. I have my brown sugar here and I have my yeast here. And there's my water. That was the brown sugar. And here's the yeast. Let's just start to the side and add our water, our warm water. All right. Now you're gonna stir that until it's dissolved, but I didn't grab a spoon, so I'm gonna do that. So right now we have our warm water, our cup and a third of warm water, um, our two teaspoons of yeast, our two teaspoons of brown sugar. Feel free to use honey instead. Um, and we have our egg and our teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to add in our flour. You're going to want to add it in a little bit at a time, about a cup or so, a third of a cup. It really depends on what you want. Just so it's easier to mix and stuff. It's always easier to mix when there's not as much flour as you want. So we'll just do once it's too stiff to really mix with a spoon. Um, you're going to transfer it to a well-floured uh, countertop. And then you're going to start kneading it. But right now we're still in the flower stages. Which is going to dump the rest of this in. Because it's not that much. I mean, that'll be fine. Uh, so, what have you guys been doing? Uh, oops. What have you guys been doing uh, during quarantine? I really haven't been doing much. There's not really anything to do with all of the shop clothes and everything. I've mostly just been staying at home, walking the dog some, swinging, doing my learning. Uh, I made some brownies yesterday though, so that was cool. Have you guys made anything exciting in quarantine? If you haven't, you are now. You're making bread. That's, that's pretty exciting, that's pretty fun. Bread's fun to make. Feel free to send in videos of yourself making the bread if you want to. We can do like a recipe share type thing. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Welcome back. I am currently kneading the dough. It was very sticky at first, so don't be worried if yours is. Just add some more flour to it and it'll help. Um, you're supposed to knead it for around four to five minutes. The recipe says, or until thick or smooth and elastic-y, I believe. Um, and then we want to put it in a bowl to let it rise, I believe, a covered bowl, for about an hour. lots of flour on our cutting board which is good that's what you want so it doesn't stick hello i'm the sushi sous chef and i'm folding the dough right now does it have a specific way it needs to be filled folded Next, we're going to want to transfer the bread to the, that, dough. the dough to the bowl to, to, to let rise. rise for an hour. For an hour. And, do we, and we cover it with yes, a damp paper do. towel? Yes, we do. We cover it. With a damp paper towel? Or a... 
regular. I don't even cover it with a damp. Um, with a dishcloth. So. Well, Not that's what I. Towel. Well, then I don't need that damp towel. Just damp anyways, towel. let's cover it. There's a hole right there. So, so now we're going to let this sit, and when we come back, we'll take a picture of that and continue on with the recipe. So this is the before of the dough. It's that size, and we're going to see how much it's risen in an hour. Hopefully about probably like two times the size, or maybe three, one times. And then it'll rise even more in the baking. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's been an hour since we left, le since we last left off, and the bread has risen. The ground review. Ta-da! So what you're gonna wanna do, we're just making sandwich bread. The recipe, web, um, the site that actually has the recipe has a lot more options you can do with this kind of bread, which is one of the reasons why it's such a cool recipe. Um, but we're just doing plain sandwich bread. So you are going to wanna take a greased pan. Mine's already been greased and you're going to want to move the bread to that. Punch it down. And punch down the bread first. Okay, so once you've punched down the bread, you're gonna wanna take it out and put it into your pan. Now that the bread is in the pan, you're going to let it rise for 20 to 30 minutes and after that, you'll bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for another 25, 30-ish minutes. Angel? We'll see you shortly with the finished product. 